G'day. God, that's a good one. Well, g'day guys, it's uh, it's good to be back doing another episode. I've gone back to, uh, to basics, and that means uh, fishing like I used to as a kid. I've stumbled on a development where there's uh, a pipe system that hasn't even been finished yet and there's about two foot of water at the deepest point and less than a foot further down and there's a heap of fish trapped in here what i've done is i've brought really light gear i've got a, a small reel four pound fluorocarbon all the way through my old um, trusty telescopic rod which i've uh which i've taken on the plane to melbourne and and sydney when i want to catch a, a black brim down there there's a heap of tilapia in front of me. I've got to get them to bite. It's all going to be visual fishing. There's only one way these fish can go as well. And that is straight in front of me when they take off. Some serious fish in here. There's some good size fish too. Oh, it's a bit gnarly. Get you out the way. But I'm just using a night crawler worm, a size four hook. So there's no weight on here either. Just wake him through there, throw him up the hook. God, this is so exciting. Old school fishing. I reckon visual fishing is the best kind of fishing that you can do, whether it's on the reefs, out in central or north Queensland, or in little places like this. Right. Okay. Let's see if they hit this thing. Watching that line. If they run straight underneath me through the pipe that I'm standing on, I'm pretty much finished. You are kidding me. Oh my god. I'm whiting. Okay, that's not what I want. God, how quick was that? Actually, I think there's a tilapia hanging underneath that weed, just to the left of that pipe. Okay. So the tilapia are being really sneaky. They're hiding underneath the weed now, over the other side. So I'm gonna try and see if I can entice one. tilapia coming out Ooh. oh that's pulling some drag too oh I knew I'd get him oh. 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 my god oh line's caught around oh wow wow Okay. Man. 
They're a good size. Now we're going to go on four pound. Oh, forgot to bring the net. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay, I've got gotcha. you. Uh, seen him just sucking that in on the bottom. Uh, look at that. Oh, my God. Now these can't be thrown back in the water because they're an obnoxious species so unfortunately we better leave him out wow that was cool got a visual bite on that oh. Yep, some people will say I'm crazy. What I'll do to find a fish, but if they're not coming to you, you got to go to them. Rightio. I've just spotted a school. Holy moly, whatever that was, it had a big tail. That was big. They're hanging around that branch. Let's see what it is. I'm trying to hide. As soon as anything spots you here, it's all over. They're hanging in the deeper parts now, which makes it tricky. Yeah, yeah, oh my god, oh no, don't go around that, oh no, he's around it, he's around it, oh, he's around that branch, that's a good fish too, oh, I got him, oh my god, I got him off, how did I do that, oh my god, oh that's a good fish too, that is a cracker, Oh, that's a tar wine. Are you kidding? Oh my god. Ah, got me. Sweet revenge, hey? Comfort lift? <laughs> Probably not. Wow. Look at that big tar wine. It's only on four pound. He had me around that little branch in the water. Oh, that's slippery. See you later, champion. Alrighty-o, that was a bit of fun in the skinny stuff. I guess if I had some tips for you, don't be afraid to go light. Now, if you're going for your uh, your bread and butter fish, two pound, four pound, six pound, around, stick around that. Don't be afraid to go fluorocarbon all the way through. Use a little reel, 2,000, 2,500 size. One to three kilo rod or a two to four kilo rod somewhere around that and if you don't need weight don't use it you want to keep that bait as natural as you can if you enjoyed this story show the love big thumbs up drop a comment we'll see you next time